your mercy. And your mercy. Lord, I say Lord, thank you. Lord, I say thank you. For your goodness. For your goodness. And your mercy. And your mercy. Lord, I say Lord, thank you. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Greeting saints of God, hallelujah. Welcome to the first Sunday of the month of July. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome to July 2024, the seventh month of the year. God is good. Lift your hands and begin to praise the Lord. Celebrate the faithfulness of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Celebrate the mercies of God. January, February, March, April, May, June. This is July. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The seventh month of the year. Clap your hands if you have enough room to move, move around and pray. Glory, glory, glory to God. Thank the Lord for mercy that has brought you to the second half of the year. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me into the seventh month of the year. Also, the second half of it. Lord, I celebrate your goodness and your faithfulness. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me. Thank you, Lord, for protecting me. Thank you, Lord, for keeping my children. Thank you, Lord, for protecting them. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for divine protection and provision. Glory to God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, saints of God, depending on wherever you are watching me from. July 2024 is being prophetically declared as our month of divine protection. Hallelujah. God has a reason for why he called each month the names we call them because in the place of prayer, I receive these words from the Lord. So welcome to July, your month of divine protection. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and thank God for July, your month of protection. Give God the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I stand to declare this day that July, the mercies of God will defend you. The mercies of God will save you from violence. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, wherever there will be a disaster this month and you are there, may the mercies of God protect you. May the mercies of God save you. May the mercies of God defend your children this month. May the mercies of God save your children this month from violence. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, may the grace of God order your steps this month uh, in the name of Jesus. May this month answer to you. May this month answer to your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and say, my father, my helper, I come into July with an attitude of praise, thankfulness, and expectation. Clap your hands and turn it to prayer. Glory be to Jesus. My father, my helper, I come into July 2024 with an attitude of praise, thankfulness, and expectation. Thankfulness and expectations. Thankfulness and expectations. 
thankfulness and expectations. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Glory to God. Psalm 92, verse 4 to 5. Psalm 92, verse 4 to 5. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy works. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. Look at verse 5. Glory be to Jesus. O Lord, how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. How great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep. Say, my father, my helper, do your works in my life this month. Uh, this month of divine protection. My father, my helper, do your works in the life of my children this month. Uh, the works of God are great, friends. So expect great things. Uh, the works of God are great. Uh, expect great things uh, in every area of your life and that of your loved ones. Uh, turn it to prayer. My father, my helper, do your works in my life this month. Have your way this month, Lord. Do your works in my life. Do your works in my ministry. Do your works in the assignment you have committed to my hands. Do your works in my business. Do your works in the lives of my children. Glory to God. Do your works, Lord. To the honor and the praise of your name. Everywhere I go into this month, uh, July 2024, Jehovah Eloyana, do your works. Uh, let men see your works at, at manifestation, in manifestation, I mean, in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Psalm 138 and verse 8. Psalm 138 and verse 8. Glory to God. Psalm 138 verse 8. Look at this. The Lord will perfect that that consigneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thy own hands. You are the works of God's own hands. And number 7 is the number of perfection. So friends, I make bold to declare that this month, the Lord will perfect that which consigned you. Consigned your health, consigned your finances, consigned your family, consigned your home. The Lord will perfect it. I'd like you to say amen and receive it in the name of Jesus. Look around your life. Which area of your life is that which you desire God to perfect? Hallelujah. You're going to thank God for the seventh month of the year. The number of perfection. Remember, that's what seven represents. Completion. He said, thy mercy, O Lord. That is why this month, the mercies of God will defend you and the mercies of God will save you. He said, thy mercy, O Lord, endure it forever. Forsake not the works of thy own hands. Lord, I am the works of your hand. Forsake me not. Perfect all that concerns me this month uh, that consigns my children this month uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, lift up your hand uh, say my father my helper this month walk out your plans for my life and perfect them I know you will not abandon me turn it to prayer glory to God my father my helper this month uh, this month uh, walk out your plans uh, for my life, uh, perfect all that consigns me. Uh, I know you will not abandon me. I know you will not abandon me. I know you will not abandon my children. I know you will not abandon my loved ones. Uh, perfect that which you have committed into my hands. Uh, perfect all that consigns my health. Uh, from the crown of my head uh, to the sole of my feet. Uh, perfect all that consigns my home. Uh, Perfect all that consigns my finances. Uh, perfect all that consigns my ministry, my business, uh, my career, Lord. Uh, perfect all that consigns me. I want to pray for you that is experiencing epileptic attack. 
like this like epilepsy but yet you are the doctor has confirmed that you are not epileptic but you have epileptic kind of attack and symptoms it's an attack of the wicked whoever you are wherever you are watching me from lay your hands on yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I rebuke that devil. I rebuke that devil. I rebuke that devil. I rebuke that devil. Be healed and be made whole. Be, re be delivered. Let all that concerns your health be perfected in Jesus' mighty name. Let me hear your testimony to the glory of God. Exodus 34, verse 21. Look at this. Six days. Thou shalt walk, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest. So number seven is for rest. In hearing time and in harvest thou shalt rest. I stand to declare this is your number seven day, the month of July. As God gave me in the place of prayer by revelation knowledge. This is your number seventh day. Something is about to happen to you that will turn your life around for the better. Expect congratulations this month. In the name of Jesus, in that office, it will come to you. In that marriage, it will come to you. In your career, it will come to you. In your ministry, it will come to you. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Six days thou shalt walk, but on the seventh day, thou shalt rest therefore i decree and i declare may jehovah give you rest this month may jehovah give your children rest this month may jehovah give your business your ministry rest this month may we encounter rest this month in the name of jesus lift your hand and say my father my maker i decree and i declare rest is my portion this month july 2024 turn it to prayer child of god pray pray life and death is in the power of the tongue i decree and i declare july 2024 is my month of rest i shall encounter rest financial rest spiritual rest ministerial rest in the name of jesus christ rest around about me i prophesy rest over my children i prophesy rest over my loved ones I prophesy rest over the works of my hand. Rest in the name of Jesus. From every challenge and battles, rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Magadogo delegedia, rikadonima, lekodonia, makasa katalabahadia. Thank you, Father. Say, my Father, my Maker, this month, complete all that concerns me concerning my project my family my career my business in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of the living god glory to god we're going to honor god one more time psalm 103 verse 1 to 3 just to bless his holy name one more time for the past six months of this great wonderful year our year of new beginning god has been tremendously gracious there have been all sorts of testimony, blessings that God has been releasing upon his children since the year started. Especially spiritual growth and spiritual blessings. And we are eternally grateful to God. Hallelujah. Look at this. Psalm 103 verse 1 to 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Verse 2. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all, all his benefit. Look at verse 3. Hallelujah. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Friends, remember the goodness of God, your salvation. The benefit of serving God. The gift of life. Remember how many times this year God has rescued you from the trap of the wicked. Traps that your enemy have set. There is no way he or she 
that you are going to come out of that trap. But God miraculously, continuously make a way of escape for you. Friends, we need to do this because now we are in the second half of the year. I pray that the message of God will keep you from now till the end of the year. The same mercy that has kept you from January till this day. Glory be to God. Remember all the goodness of God. All the great benefits that the Lord has released upon you. Please, I want you to praise him. I want you to sing that new song to the Lord. Thank him for the great, great grace and mercy that has kept you to the half of this year. And that will take you through to the end of the year if Jesus started. I want you to bless the name of Jesus. Honor the name of the Lord. Let your praise bring him honor. Let your praise bring him honor. Hallelujah. Pray in the spirit if you can. Sing in the spirit if you can. Let your praise bring him honor. Thank him for the gift of life. Thank him for preservation of life. Thank him for all that he's been and he's been doing since January 2024. My father, my God, I thank you. Let your praise bring him honor. Let your praise bring him honor. Hallelujah. Thank him for all the journey mercies. Thank him for continuously putting your enemies to shame. For straightening their wisdom. Turning their wisdom backwards. Uh, celebrate his goodness. Celebrate his goodness. Let your praise bring God honor. Let your praise bring God honor. Unto the Lord be the glory. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great, great things the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me. Thank you for the protection. I enjoy every time I travel to the places you take me to. Thank you for watching over my helpers, over my loved ones, over all those that are connected to me by grace. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hagava, Hagradine, and Handia. Friends, let your praise bring God honor. Let your praise bring God honor. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you for the gift of Jesus. Legadama, Angadinu Ukala, Enangradinilu Wahaze, Frila Hadia. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody's been healed from a terrible neck pain. Turn your neck to the right and to the left. You are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome once more, saints, to July 2024. Please hear me well. It is our month of divine protection. Divine protection is not the absence of danger, disaster, or challenges. Divine protection is safety in the midst of danger and in the face of disaster and challenges. These things will happen. They will come. But the good news is when you are walking in the humility of divine protection, they will not touch you. Neither will they come near your dwelling. I therefore decree and declare that this month in the face of of danger and disaster the Lord preserves you the Lord preserves your children the Lord preserves you the Lord preserves your children in the name of Jesus with all the global warming changes that we see around the world may the hand of God continue to keep you as you fly this month may God grant you safety may the weather favor you in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare, as you travel on road, may the Lord protect you and keep you. As you travel on the sea, may the mercy of God keep you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, there is climate changes, but I decree and I declare for you, child of God. May the Lord protect you. May divine protection become a reality in your life and that of your loved ones. Remember, Divine protection is not the absence of danger, but it is safety 
in the face of danger. I like the way Psalm 91 verse 2 to 14, it clearly explains the picture of divine protection. Please look at it. Psalm 91 verse 2 to 14. This is a clear picture of divine protection. Glory to God. Please hear me well. You are too guided by the grace and the mercy of God to be wasted by the wicked. You will not be wasted this month. Your children will not be wasted. If Jesus tarry, the remaining part of this year, you will not be wasted. You will not be wasted. Child of God, you will not be wasted. Man of God, you will not be wasted. Woman of God, you will not be wasted. Daughter of God, you will not be wasted. Businessman, businesswoman, you will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, by the covenant of divine protection. You are too guided. The mercies of God alone is enough to protect you from the attack of the wicked. You are too guided to be wasted by the wicked. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Look at this. Psalm 91 from verse 2. I will say of the Lord, he is, he is, Thank God for your security. Thank God for the area where you live, in the town where you stay. Crime might not be there, but only God can keep you. Because many go to bed under multi-million naira beds and yet do not wake up in the morning. It is God that preserves life. It is God that preserves life. And glory to the eternal one for the gift of life. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my first my god in him i will trust verse 3 because we're going to 14. surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence verse 4 glory to god he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust and his his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Verse 5. Glory to God. Thou shalt not sakata. be afraid for the terror by night, none the arrow that flyeth by day. Verse 6. None for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, none for the, for the destruction that wasted at noon. That is why I said, Psalm 91 verse 2 to 14 clearly explain and paint to us the picture of divine protection. That it is not the absence of danger. All these things are dangerous things. Pestilence, terrors by day, by night. They are happening. They will keep happening. As we are talking now, they are happening. But because of the mercies of God, by the covenant of divine protection, you will be exempted. Shout Amen. Your children will be exempted. Glory to God. Verse 6. None for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. None for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Verse 7. Glory to God. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not, it shall not come near thee. Verse 8. Glory to God. Only with the eyes you will see it happening we see it every day on news on, med on every form of social media but it will not happen to you shout amen not because you are any special than they are but because you have jesus in you and truly that makes you special glory to god only with the eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked verse 9 Glory to God, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Live in God, friends. Stay in God. Keep your covenant with God. Be useful to God. I have said it time with that number. As long as you are useful to God, you cannot be wasted by the wicked. Hallelujah. Because thou hast made... In order for you to enjoy all of this, in the course of the month, we're going to be looking at the provision God has made for our divine protection and why we need divine protection. He said, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most I thy habitation. Look at verse 10. There shall no evil because you have made the Lord, verse 9 said. So stay in God. If you get out of God, friends, you become vulnerable to the wicked and to his devices. 
There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague, all the dangerous plague of sicknesses around, breaking out around the wall, come near thy dwelling. Verse 11, glory to God, for he shall give his angel, we're going to look at this in the course of the moon. Look at now provisions God has made for our divine protection. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy way when you go to bed at night, when you fly in the air, when you travel by the road, when you travel by sea. He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Verse 12, glory to God. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Verse 13, glory to God. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou tread put under thy feet. What destroy others will be under your feet. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, friends, love God more than ever before. Commit yourself to service. There are great benefits in serving God. Great benefit in serving God. One of those benefits is divine protection. One of those benefits is divine protection. God keeps his own. God keeps his own. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high. Because he had known my name. How much do you love the work of God? How much do you desire to advance God's kingdom? Things that consign God, how does it consign you? Things that matters to God, how does it matter to you? When you hear God's things, how do you pursue it? What zeal do you put into it? Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. Friends, it's not just about prayers. It's not just about fasting. It's about how we commit ourselves to God and how we live our life to his honor and to his glory. <laughs> Lift your hands. Say, Lord Jehovah, thank you for the provision of divine protection. Thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Return the glory to him. Look at all the wonderful provision he has made just to protect us and to keep us. Jehovah, my Father, my Helper, thank you for the provision of divine protection. Please clap your hands, open your mouth, and celebrate God. Thank you, Lord, for the provision of divine protection. Thank you for watching over me. Thank you for watching over my loved ones. Thank you for watching over my movement. In Jesus mighty name, I decree and I declare that this month in Lefarabaka Zakatua, you will not cry over any of your loved ones. In the name of Jesus, you watching from America, you watching from Asia, you watching from Africa, you watching from Southern America, I decree and I declare, wherever you are hearing me from, this month, you will not cry over any of your loved ones. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Now you open your hands. Say July 2024. Hear the word of the Lord. I will not cry over any of my loved ones because we walk under divine protection. Turn it to prayer. Le baga zogo de mea e na aguna angra di la wahasa kliyaba. July 2024. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. I will not cry over any of my loved ones because we walk under divine protection in the name of Jesus. Because we walk under divine protection in the name of Jesus. 
Magaga bagara gazagada. Ilefe gede nimi wahazia. Lezande gede nimi wa angra dila akasada. In Jesus mighty name. Friends. Someone may be asking. Why do we need divine protection? We need divine protection. We need divine protection from strange sicknesses and diseases. We need divine protection from demonic arrows. We need divine protection from wicked people, from jealous friends and colleagues. We need divine protection from danger and disaster. We need divine protection to sleep and to wake up in the morning. We need divine protection to go out of the house in the morning and return back safely to meet your loved ones. We need divine protection every minute, every seconds of our life. We need divine protection. And it is good to know that God, the one whom we serve, protects and keeps his own. So in order to protect and keep us, he's provided different channels by which we can enjoy divine protection which we're going to be looking in the course of this moon. And one of those channels is what he mentioned in Psalm 91. He says he will give his angel charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Genesis 32 and verse 30. Genesis 32 and verse 30. Kadama Karabawa. This month, Igelebina, the Lord will visit you for good in Jesus' name. Look at this. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Friends, it is God who preserves lives. Like I said, you can have all the money you want here on earth. Have all the security you want to put around your house, which is not bad. It's good to be secure physically in the world we live in today. But above all, it is God that keeps us in the midst of all that. Except the Lord watch over a house, watch over a city. The watchmen are watching, but they are watching in vain. And my life, Jacob said, is preserved. May the Lord preserve you. May the Lord preserve your loved ones. May the Lord preserve your children. May the Lord preserve all those that are connected to you in the name of Jesus. Look at Psalm 121, verse 7 to 8. Psalm 121, verse 7 to 8. Glory be to God. Look at this. The Lord shall preserve thee. It is God who preserves. Do your part. Don't be careless. You can't live in an unsafe area and leave your doors open. There are restrictions that are very important. That's why we put fence around our house to avoid criminals from jumping into our compounds. So it's important. Do your part. And God Almighty is committed to do his. The Lord shall preserve thee from all, from all the evil that comes by day, the evils that come by night, the evil that come through frenemies, enemies pretending to be friends. He said the Lord shall preserve thee from the evil that come through sickness and diseases. It is God who preserve. He shall preserve thy soul. Look at verse 8. The Lord shall preserve thy going out, Ivan Benihala, and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Iko Valahadia. Lift your hand. Say July 2024. And the rest of the year, Lord preserve me in the name of Jesus. July 2024. And the rest of the year, Lord preserve me in the name of Jesus. Lord, preserve everyone connected to me by grace. Lord, preserve my children. Lord, preserve me in the name of Jesus. July 2024, Lord, preserve me. And the remaining part of this year, Lord, preserve me. Lord, preserve me. Lord, preserve me. In the name of Jesus. 
Say with me, July 2024, hear the word of the Lord. My life is preserved by the hand of the Lord. My children's life is preserved by the hand of the Lord. The works of my hands are preserved by the hand of the Lord. Turn it to prayer. In Kabongo Zegina Angla Dulupili in Salada Hadia, July 2024, hear the word of the Lord. My life is preserved. My children's life is preserved. My going out and coming in is preserved. The works of my hands are preserved. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. You are hearing me. You're watching me. They call you lucky. The Lord say you are delivered from the evil pattern of your family. There is something that is happening in your family that is very bad. You've been crying to God. Please send me your testimony with the numbers on the screen. You've been crying to God for intervention in your life. God has answered your prayer, Lucky. The hand of the Lord has broken that yoke of the wicked that caused that evil pattern in your family. Anyone watching me under the influence of this category of word of knowledge, I decree your rescue now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. By that word of knowledge, I just received this prayer point. Lift up your hand. Say, my father, my Lord, intervene in my family affairs for good in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, my God, intervene in my family affairs. Jehovah God, intervene in my family affairs. Brethren, begin to mention that matter. Begin to mention that issue that is causing you a burden in your family. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, I decree and declare by the mighty hand of God this month, every opposition and resistance against my lifting shall not prosper. Every opposition and resistance against the lifting of my children shall not prosper. This month, turn into prayer. I decree and declare by the mighty hand of God, this month, every opposition and resistance of the enemy against my lifting shall not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the mighty hand of God, every opposition and resistance Against the lifting of my helpers, against the lifting of all the leaders, pastors, businessmen, and women under me by grace uh, shall not prosper. Ega bagada lava, lifra bagada, oh gadima azule gredia. I decree and I declare by the mighty hand of God every opposition and resistance against my lifting, against my advancement this month shall not prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Say, July, hear the word of the Lord. By the eternal blood of Jesus, I will outlast and I will outlive every wicked prediction. Hey, Kagabunia. Just as Joseph outlast and outlive the wicked intent and desires of his brethren. So I decree and I declare this month you will at last, you will outlive every wicked prediction of the wicked against you and against that your son, that your daughter, against your children, against your ministry. They have said, we're giving him three months, we're giving her two months, we're giving them six years, they will not be around anymore. The devil is a liar. Open your hand, say in the name of Jesus, July, hear the word of the Lord, by the internal blood of Jesus, I will at last, I will outlive every wicked prediction of the wicked against me. Nega bagadagada, I will outlast it. I will outlive it in the name of Jesus. My children will outlive every evil prediction against their destinies. Call your children by name. Call your children by name. Call your husband by name. Call your wife by name. Call your leaders by name. E gaba gaza, e go demina, e zupula angredina azawa ataya. I decree and I declare 
everyone connected to me, everyone under the influence of my voice, they will outlive every evil prediction against their destinies, against their destinies, against their destinies, in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Say, I decree and I declare, by the end of this month, I will be celebrating the faithfulness of God over me and my household. Do you believe it? Turn it to prayer because it will happen in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the end of this month, I will be celebrating the faithfulness of God over me and my household, over me and my family, over me and my family, over me and my family. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, July is my mode of divine protection. This month I will encounter the faithfulness of God. I will see the hand of God in my life, spiritually, financially, materially. Egama agazaga, le froko degede, le jagada, mezekulia, mazaga gedea, le tande lego tonimi wa asa, in Jesus' mighty name. Say July 2024, I impose the Lordship of Jesus over everything around my life and that of my loved ones. I impose the Lordship of Jesus. I declare Jesus Lord over my family, over the works of my hand, over my ministry, over my career. I decree and I declare the Lordship of Jesus, the Lordship of Jesus, the Lordship of Jesus in Jesus' name. Extra chapter 4. And verse 4. Then the people of the land weakened the hand of the people of Judah. They tried to weaken them from doing God's work. When that was not working, they decided to trouble them. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building the enemy does not want you to build anything that glorify god child of god listen to me daughter of god don't let the wicked discourage you from doing what you are doing for god in that ministry in that church what you are doing for soul winning don't let the devil discourage you from doing it this is the program of satan the people of the land weakened the hands of the people. They tried to weaken their hands. When they saw they were not succeeding in weakening their hands, they decided to not trouble them in building it. They will say all sorts of things. They will gossip you. They will attack you. They will shoot you arrows. You might even receive spiritual attacks and opposition. But the devil is a liar. God told me, when you are walking in my will, the enemy will use people to try to discourage you or weaken you from doing my will. Except it's not God's will. If it is the will of God that you are in, the enemy will attack you. Satan will try to use people to weaken you from doing God's purpose for your life and fulfilling God's plan for your life. And once you are out of God's will, you are cheaply destroyed by the wicked. And that's what the enemy is looking for. He will try to cajole you out of the will of God because he cannot destroy you or get you when you are in God's will. So he tries to bring you out of the will of God. He might even come in the season of the night with false dreams and lies. If you don't have the spirit of God and you don't have the spirit of discernment, you will fall victims to the trap of the enemy. It's my prayer for you this day. May your hands not be weakened to do the work of God. May your hands not be weakened to do the work of God. May your mind not be weakened to do the work of God. May you not listen to them. May you receive strength to keep pushing on. Do you know the attack we receive in choosing to obey God? There are places I've been to you look up, you look down, you say, what am I doing here? The devil will try to discourage you. The sacrifices that you put in to carry out the purpose that God has committed into your hand. But it's worth it. Because in that we are protected. In that we are clothed with glory and honor. In that we are honored by the mercies of God. May the Lord keep you. 
May the Lord preserve you. May your hand not be weakened to do God's will and God's purpose. In the name of Jesus, open your hands. Say July 2024, I refuse to be discouraged or be weakened from doing God's will and God's work. In the name of Jesus Christ. E Kodia, July 2024. I refuse to be discouraged. I refuse to be weakened from doing the work of the Lord. I decree and I declare the wicked will not take me out of God's will. The wicked will not push me out of the plan of God for my life. Please be careful. This is a word of caution. May God give you grace. The second half of this year we have entered. I pray that every month left this year be committed to your service in that assembly God has planted you. Be committed to that your service in that church God has put you in. In that service unit that you belong to. As a pastor, as a leader, as a staff, as a worker. Be committed to your plan and your program for soul winning. As you commit yourself to God, may the grace of God continue to keep you. May your hands not be weakened in Jesus' name. Psalm 41, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 41, verse 1 to 3. Listen to me, child of God. If you put smiles in the life of others, I tell you, friends, what I'm about to show you right now is one major secret to enjoy divine protection and preservation of life. I say it again. What I'm about to show you right now is one major secret to enjoy divine protection and preservation of life. If you are committed to putting smiles in the faces of others, in the life of others, sorrow will be far from your habitation. Don't say I don't have much. Do it the little way you can. Do it the little way, whichever way God guides you or leads you. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Look at this. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2, and then we read the New Living Translation. The Lord will preserve him. The, the, in other words, the Lord will protect him. He or she, that person will enjoy divine protection. This is another channel God has given to us to enjoy divine protection taking care of the needy. Like I said to you, we will go through all of this in the course of the month. This is another channel God has provided. There are people who don't know God, who are practicing this principle, and they are enjoying divine protection. Because you see, friends, life is not governed by miracles, but by principles, by instructions. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. Isn't, isn't that why we're asking God for divine protection? And he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou will not deliver him unto the will of his enemy. Isn't that divine protection? Look at verse 3. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. That is on the bed of sickness. God will strengthen that person because the person is has been putting smile on the faces of others. Thou will make all his bed in sickness. That is, that sickness bed will be over. Because you have committed yourself to putting smile in the life of others. Please look at the New Living Translation. We'll soon be rounding up. Oh, the joys of those who are kind to the poor. I do not like the word charity. I tell people. It's a ministry. It's one of the ministries of Jesus. The ministry of doing good to the needy. Don't call it charity. Don't say um, a philanthropist. It's, that's an English word. Spiritually, it's a ministry. The joys of those who are kind to the poor. The Lord rescues them when they are in trouble. You don't bring joy to any poor. You don't consider the poor. You don't consider the needy. So when you are crying in the day of trouble, are you sure you're going to be rescued? Look at verse 2. Glory to God. That is why I say to all our branches, whole outreaches. Go out for soul winning. Meet the needs of the needy. Help the poor. Visit hospitals. 
Glory to God. Verse 2. The Lord protects them and keep them alive. Them who consider the poor and the needy. He gives them prosperity in the land and rescue them from their enemies. Look at verse 3. The Lord nurses them. God become your nurse and nurses you when they are sick and restore them to health. This is a major secret, friends, if you truly desire to enjoy divine protection. Everything that causes tears, I decree and I declare today, everything that causes tears behind closed doors is over in your life from today. It's over in your life from today. It's over in your life from today. It's over in your life from today in Jesus' mighty name. As you put smiles on the faces of other children, I decree and I declare, may your own children not see sorrow. My mother used to tell me that, my biological mother. I remember when I go out and I do the work of God and I come to see her before God took her to glory. She will say to me, if you bring smile to other people's children's face, God will continue to bring smile to your face. And then she will say to me, you will not suffer anywhere you go because I take care of other people's children. And God has been true to his word. Glory to God. <laughs> Lift your hand. Say, Lord, I receive grace to meet your expectations of me. May I not disappoint you, Lord. Lord, I receive grace. Lord, I receive grace. Lord, I receive grace to meet your expectations of me, Lord. Help me accomplish the purpose which you have called me into and the assignment which you have committed to my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your hand. Say, my father, my helper, assist me that I don't fail you this month and through the rest of the year if Jesus started. Assist me, Lord. Assist me, Lord, that I don't fail you this month and the rest of this year as Jesus starts. Assist me, Lord. I receive grace as a pastor. I receive grace as a businessman or woman. I receive grace as a career person. I receive grace as a student. I receive grace, Lord. I receive grace, Lord. I receive grace in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, give me the strength to continuously consider the needy and the poor. Give me the strength, Lord. Give me the strength, Lord. Give me the strength, Lord. I receive grace. I receive grace in Jesus' mighty name. So lift your hand. Have them pray that. Say, may fortune and favor locate me this month as I favor others in Jesus' name. Lord, may fortune, may favor locate me this month as I favor others in the name of Jesus. Let fortune, let favor locate me this month as I favor others. E garadaba, le zogodia, magadelia, e godo de megada, e tulibina aza in Jesus' name. I hear my spirit, they call you Millicent. The Lord says, I should tell you, that challenge that you are faced with, it will not break you, it will only make you. Celebrate, daughter of God. Every challenge that you have seen, you have cried and said, God, why? What is going on? Dance and give God praise. Your morning is being turned for joy. Your night season is over, says the Spirit of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Psalm 34, verse 15 to 19. God asks us to pray because he answers prayer. This month, the Lord deliver you from all trouble. Psalm 34, verse 15 to 19. The eyes of the Lord watch over those. It's our month of divine protection. We are speaking into the womb of July 2024. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. This is another key to enjoy divine protection living right 
walking with God right keeping your integrity as a child of God the eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right his ears are open to their cry for help verse 16 we go to 19 but the Lord turns his face against those who do evil he will erase their memory from the earth verse 17 the Lord hears his people when they call to him for help he rescued them from all their troubles verse 18 the Lord is close to the brokenhearted he rescued those whose spirit are crushed verse 19 the righteous person faces many troubles but the Lord comes to the rescue each time the Lord comes to the rescue each time friends you are on the winning side God asks us to pray because he answers prayer you are on the winning side glory glory to God lift your hand and declare I am on the winning side in the name of Jesus this month I am preserved and saved from all trouble glory to God I Adam Smudgy I am on the winning side this month I am saved and protected and preserved from all troubles in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah say July 2024 my father my God fight for me and for my children 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 in the mighty name of Jesus lift your hand say Lord let your hand of glory overshadow me and my children this month let your hand of glory overshadow me and my children this month in Jesus mighty name I'm going to be closing with this and next Sunday I will continue because I have a lot of prayers to pray we'll continue with prayers and the word as God will guide me and lead me so i will ask of you to please tune in next week sunday and every other sunday this month as we go through the word of god and pray for divine protection psalm 32 and verse 7 let's look at the new living translation psalm 32 and verse 7 one of the ways god protect us is by hiding us friends one major way God protect us is by hiding us. Unfortunately, this generation do not know how to hide. Friends, that you are a Christian, that you are anointed, does not mean you should expose yourself everywhere and anyhow. Look, friends, when you see a 10-story building, what is keeping that story building, that 10-story building, is the foundation. But you don't see the foundation. You can see the story building, but you don't see the foundation because the foundation is hidden underground. You might take pictures of the story building, but you can't take picture of the foundation. Brethren, this is a caution. It is dangerous when you expose certain things that you should not expose. And when the attacks begin to come, you begin to cry to God and say, God, why? Why? Why me? But you are the cause. There are things that are not made to be revealed. There are areas of your life that people are not made to assess or to come into. Please, friends, if you desire to enjoy divine protection, you have a part to play. Learn to hide yourself. When God hides you or God says you should hide yourself, it doesn't mean that you are afraid or God is afraid of the wicked. God forbid hallelujah but it's wisdom because there are things that must not be revealed to the world just like god almighty is there are things we will never know about him because he is god those things must remain hidden glory be to jesus so taking certain kind of pictures and posting on social media putting certain private part of your life that should have been there and you are posting and you are wondering why why am i always attacked Learn to keep certain things private. Learn to preserve your life. So one of the ways God protect us and allow us to enjoy divine protection is by we hiding ourselves. Things that are not necessary, don't go telling the world. 
you post your children you post your career you post how much you earn salary every new thing you just got by the message of god you post it and you wonder why every time something good happens, something bad follows may it not be your portion may god grant you wisdom in jesus mighty name look at this psalm 32 verse 7 for you are my hiding place hide yourself in god you protect me from trouble you surround me with songs of freedom with songs of deliverance you are my hiding place lord in you lord i take refuge it doesn't mean you are afraid it means that you are wise don't ever expose your strength to the wicked just like you can't see the foundation of a 10-story building because it's underground and that is the strength of the building the strength of every building it is foundation don't expose your strength there are things you can post and if you must post let it be to the glory of god if you must say anything let it be to the glory of god if you must do anything let it be bringing honor and glory to the name of jesus christ so you check anything you want to post you want to do if it's not bringing honor and glory to god don't do it please stop taking pictures of the foundation of your life and showing it to the world you are looking for trouble god will hide you god will keep you may this generation receive wisdom to know how to hide in the message of god and may the lord almighty as he has promised us continue to be your hiding place continue to be your hiding place continue to be your hiding place in jesus mighty name so take wisdom sometimes off your phone sometimes be offline keep yourself private lift your hand Say, Lord, hide me from the eyes of the wicked. Hide my children from the eyes of the wicked. Hide my loved ones from the eyes of the wicked. Turn it to prayer. Lord, July 2024 and the remaining part of this year, hide me, Lord. Hide my children. Protect us, Lord. Makabago Sogodea, Nekra Bagaza, Maga Shegodea, Magodo Lebegedea, Nekodea. Father, me and my household, we take divine humility under your refuge. Igelela Bakose Kanamahandia, Naga Dolege Zakataba, in the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, my God, I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom to hide myself. I receive wisdom to hide myself. I receive wisdom to keep myself in Jesus' mighty name. Our last scriptures and then we do our last prayers John chapter 17 and verse 15 John 17 and verse 15 glory to God John 17 15 listen to this I am not asking you to take them out of the world Jesus saying to the father before his ascension to glory I am not asking you to take them out of of the world but to keep them safe from the evil one look at verse 16 they do not belong to this world any more than i do look at verse 17 make them holy by your truth teach them your word which is truth glory to god friends i want to commend you to god to stay in the Lord commit yourself to the service of the kingdom this is one major way also by which God protect us and keep us make them holy by your truth teach them your word which is truth as you stay in Christ as you remain in the Lord the wicked cannot touch you because Jesus had made a covenant with the father when he was leaving the lord as i leave them you protect them and keep them and glory is in the inside of us hallelujah i commend you to commitment in service god grace to serve you and to advance your kingdom here on earth i receive it for the month of july i receive it lord 
grace to stay on your word. Lord, I receive it. Grace to be committed to you. Lord, I receive it. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. I receive grace, Lord. I receive grace, Lord. I receive grace, Lord. I will not turn back from the truth. I will not turn back from the word. Grace to seek you, Lord, first and your kingdom, I receive it. Grace to keep you as number one in my life, Lord, I receive it. 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 Jesus ever backward, never. I receive that strength. I receive that grace. I receive that grace. May my love, may, may your love in me, Lord, continue to grow. Continue to grow. I receive it, Lord. 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 I receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Stay committed to God and to the advancement of his kingdom. I want to give you the opportunity now to express your desires to the Most High God for July 2024. Go ahead and pray. The Bible says the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut off. Open your mouth and talk to God. Express your expectations. Glory to God. Maka bago zokote libina akada. Le sokro tote limena. Anga deli wahaza. Mako shekete libole. Meka toliba. Agaba agoske. Poli agandera. Andeliba asa. Le karagada laba asa. Express your expectation to the Lord for July and the remaining part of this year. We are officially in the second half of 2024. Go ahead and talk to the Lord. What do you want God to use you to do the remaining half of this year? What are you believing God for to happen in your life, your business, your career, in your children's life, your ministry, your church, the remaining half of this year, your nation, your community, your country? Go ahead and pray. Express your expectation. Pray for yourself. Pray for your community. Pray for your church. Pray for your ministry. Pray for your for your nation. Egaba mago zegedina angla dini wa asa maga gaga bologa gosko tolia lagande nemo ango de isa akra atala lifa na anga dale kuti bina andia. Pray for your family. Neka shagadaya. Express your expectation. Maga daga da go delege deli kudaba anga la kuska balada le sekra kadelega deli wahazia. Oh glory, 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 glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Maga in Jesus mighty name so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God lift up your two hands say I will see the end of July 2024 July 2024 shall not see my end turn it to prayer a gopoko sakita lipina angadia. July 2024, the mercies of God saves me. The mercies of God keep me. The mercies of God preserve me. I shall see the end of July 2024. July 2024 shall not see my end. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Makoto Bogodelia, Maragada Bakoski Bina and Legaduleba, in Jesus' mighty name. If you have not given your life to Jesus, I need you to do so. It's the first step that you must take to enjoy divine protection. Come into the refuge of the Lord. So if you are not born again, say, Lord Jesus. Come into my life as my Lord and my personal Savior. I surrender my life to you. Forgive me, Lord, of my sins. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. You've prayed this short prayer. Congratulations. You are saved and washed by the blood of Jesus. I pray that grace and strength to serve the Lord. Walk with God. Receive it in Jesus mighty name if you have any form of sickness in your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet lay your hands there I decree that this month receive answers answers of sound health
health in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the mercies of the Lord locate you now. That the compassion of God meets you now in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be healed, be healed and be made whole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. Let the sick say, I am healed. So shall it be in Jesus mighty name. Congratulations, saints of God. I ask of you, don't forget, join me in preaching the word of God by sharing God's word. God bless you. God keep you in Jesus name. Amen. Mm -hmm.